The search continues this afternoon for an escaped inmate and an accomplice after a shooting at St. Alphonse's Hospital in Boise early this morning. And three Idaho Department of Correction officers were injured in what police say was a planned attack. Let's go out to Jude Binkley right now, who is near St. Alphonse's. Jude? Well, Brenda, the director of the Idaho Department of Correction is calling this attack unprecedented and unthinkable. Now, police are looking for two suspects, one of which is an escaped inmate, and both are considered armed and dangerous. Now, we just got information from the Valley County Sheriff's Office saying their deputies responded to a tip of a sighting in Idaho County this morning. Boise police say they don't believe these suspects are a danger to the public unless they're confronted. So Boise police is asking anyone to call 911 if they see this man, 31-year-old Skyler Mead. He's a documented gang member with the Aryan Knights and serving a 20-year sentence. IDOC Director Josh Tewalt says Mead was taken to St. Al's around 9 o'clock last night. It appeared, as I described, that it was self-injurious behavior. He was evaluated by our on-site medical, and they made the determination that he needed to be transported off-site for emergent care. IDOC officers were getting ready to transport Meade back to IDOC around 2 this morning after he got treatment. Boise police say as officers were getting ready to leave, an unknown suspect attacked and shot two of those officers. We believe that this was a coordinated attack, an ambush on the Department of Corrections officers, and uh, certainly a planned endeavor to free him from custody. Meade and the other man drove away in a gray four-door sedan, possibly a Honda Civic with Idaho plates, and police say that car is the focus of their investigation right now. Three IDOC officers were injured. Two of them were shot by the suspect. One is in critical but stable condition. The second officer has serious but non-life-threatening injuries. Now, a third IDOC officer was injured when a responding Boise police officer fired near the entrance of the hospital. The hospital was on a lockdown last night. It is back open and all patients and staff are safe. Now, Meade was being kept at the highest custody level at the state prison. He'd been serving time for shooting at a Twin Falls Sheriff's Sergeant back in 2016 during a high-speed chase. He has a previous criminal history that included a felony possession of drugs, grand theft, and contraband. Joe Brenda, again, police say these suspects are armed and dangerous. Police say if you have any info or if you see them, don't approach them, but call 911 or the Ada County Sheriff's Office. That number's on your screen right now. It's 208-377 seven six nine seven zero back to you all right Jude Binkley reporting live and he'll be following the story for us uh, throughout the rest of the evening and I did want to add there's been some questions that I know our seven investigates team our Morgan Romero is looking into right now one of the questions that we had and others might have had too is was this man Mr. Mead in handcuffs or in restraints or how did he get away the Idaho Department of Corrections just responded to Morgan saying to the best of their knowledge the man was in restraints while being escorted out of the hospital and they do believe that they followed all procedures so it'll It'll be interesting to see uh, where this story goes, but of course, we'll be keeping a close eye on it here for you. Yeah, well, thank you to both of you for the latest update there.